Hi, you guys. Welcome back to First Impression Friday. We are still moving right along with our fall Big Five collections. This one is coming to us from Butterick. And if you are new here, this is my series where I review entire sewing pattern collections, um, whether that be a whole release from one of the big companies or an entire like catalog from a indie pattern company. So I've got dozens of these for you to watch if you like fabric or pattern shopping. Um, I think mostly all the fall ones have been covered. Maybe we're missing like new look or I don't know, maybe we're missing a couple of them, but I know we have Vogue, McCall's and now Butterick. So moving right along. This one is our first pattern here. It's a coat by Katherine Tilton. Um, asymmetric coat has side seam pockets. View A has top stitching around the seams with a hidden snap closure. View B has a raw edge outside the seams and front buttons and average rating size options are 8 to 16 and then 16 to 24. So we have kind of a, come on, kind of a little bit of a boxy design here. Now Katherine Tilton, as you can probably tell, is, and by also her little logo, A-R-T, um, kind of known for things being a little bit quirky. Um, and this one is no uh, exception. It has, especially this denim one where the raw edges are sewn to the outside and then you wash it to make it all raw and like, you know, really funky. And then here's what it looks like when you don't do that application and when you keep, keep all your raw edges to the inside. Um, definitely still like curvy things happening. She's always doing funky things with curves, which make her patterns a little bit tricky to sew. Um, but if you like that kind of like artsy, unique, like nobody else is going to have a coat like this vibe, her patterns are for you. Yeah. Look at that center back seam. Cool. And there it is in the denim. I wish that they would actually thrown this in the wash instead of just like, you know, it would have like ripped more of it out, but say lovey. Okay. So yeah, here are the line drawings. You can see just how like funky this coat really is. I didn't even notice the ones on the sleeves. Um, but yeah, they're a little bit like a puzzle to put together, but they create, you know, really unique, artful garments. So they're recommending denim, wool, cashmere, double-sided fabrics. Double-sided fabrics. Hmm. I wonder if that is because you use like the contrast. Like if you had a jacquard, where, you know, it's like the reverse. Is that what they're talking about? Or do they think that because you sew the exposed seams, like the other side will show, maybe that's it. But it'll just be a little bit of it. Um, and then Ponty. Ponty would be a great um, option for the, re the one like the denim because you don't have to hem Ponty. So you'd have all those raw edges exposed, which would be cool. Um, Oh, which they say here. Okay, so A is the one with closed seams, actually. I don't know why they're suggesting double-sided fabrics. Is it unlined? Yeah, but, I mean, even still, I don't know. But for B, the one with all the exposed edges, denim, tweed. Tweed would be a super cool option. Um, think like Chanel jacket, but like turned on its head. Like, Chanel went and took acid <laughs> and made this coat. Um, then we have linen and then Ponty again. Okay, so body measurements and then finished garment measurements. Okay, great. So, yeah, it's a pretty boxy coat. They're only giving bust measurements, which is totally fine for this shape of a, like, A-line. And it looks like even the bust has 12 inches of ease in it. So really, really roomy coat. You're really just going to want to fit your shoulders and then everything kind of fall after that. But a bit of fabric hog, close to four yards. And interfacing, but no lining. Although I'm sure you could totally line it, no problem. All right, back to the beginning on that one. Next, we have this coat in-house design. Okay, so 
Um, this is a women's coat. So we've got sizes 20 to 28 and then 30 to 38. Button front wrap coat with length variations has stand collar, pleats at shoulders, side pockets, back darts, center back and waist seams, center back and waist seams. Okay. Coat eight has a belt, uh, belt loops, side front buttons. Coat B has two button closure at waist. View C has side front buttons and turn back cuffs. Okay. So the main design here is a coat with these really dramatic pleats, which at first, just reading it, I was like, that seems like it's going to be kind of weird, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. Especially for women's because, you know, they, you guys are usually fuller chested. So that can act to like minimize that a little bit. Um, but then the dart, even though you have the dart here, you have a princess seam here. So the shaping is still very much there. Um, and then this beautiful sleeve with a turn back cuff, but they all also have this waist seam and this sort of wrap situation. You can see here on her line drawing how it makes that scoopy thing. It reminds me a lot of actually the sew along that we did earlier this year for that windbreaker jacket had a very similar design where the princess seams turned into the pockets. I love that. It was really, really fun to sew and it's, like beautiful to wear, you know, I don't know. It's just kind of smart. Okay. Now some illustrations. That's a shorter version with the belt. And then this is the sort of more simpler design with a lot fewer buttons. Here's the back. So the back has darting here and a center back seam. A little long in the shoulders. I don't know if they were doing that to try and make it look a little bit more boxy. Or if it's just too big on her. It's hard to tell. But there are your line drawings. Very kind of full skirt here on the coat. And then the back of the envelope. We've got wool blends, tweed, gabardine, denim. For sure, but I could totally see you making this for springtime too in those like cottons and cotton blends, chambray, all of that kind of stuff would be really pretty too. So um, definitely a fall uh, coat, but maybe even like a, a lightweight spring one also. Can't you see it in like linen and like light, I, may, I said chambray, but maybe like a light, a little heavier than chambray on the lighter side of, of denim. Um, I think even this short one would be kind of cool in, uh, like, uh, corduroy. And then here are your notions. So shoulder pads, snap, buttons, 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 side buckle. Yeah, the usual stuff. And then body measurements and finished garment measurements. Okay, cool. So they gave us bust and waist. The bust has six inches of ease and the waist has 10 inches of ease. So sort of semi-fitted through the bust and the waist, to be honest. Um, so to pay a little bit of attention to fit here, but not a ton. Okay. Next, we have the Mrs. version of this same pattern. So you can see what that looks like on a straight-sized woman right here this version maybe because it's blue i'm not sure i'm getting much more like first lady vibes right i could kind of almost even see like a kate middleton wearing something like that i wish they would have made a different version i don't know why well i guess technically they did because they the other one has all the buttons maybe that's a reason why too why it seems a little bit more proper um, because we don't have all the buttons going down the front. But there you have it. Okay. And then should be the same situation in terms of fit. 
29 to 35, yeah, 6 and then 10. Yeah, so same amount of E's um, for both. Okay, now we have this suit set, I think. Yeah, jacket and pants. Classic two-piece suit with a twist. Lined jacket draws asymmetry asymmetrically across the body and fastens with three buttons. Jacket features flap detail at front. Pants come in ankle length and includes invisible zipper on the side. You see our wide leg pants. Okay. So you get a jacket with, it says flap detail. Does that mean there's not actually a pocket here? Or there is a pocket bag? I don't know. Um, this one, again, has a little bit of a release in terms of like a sort of a dart similar to that last one just not as dramatic and then the princess seems a little peplum ish situation happening here those are the close fitting pants yeah very cool I, it feels kind of rock and roll to me the fit on the pants looks really good again you have the darting here the waisting for the peplum, this might be some kind of like velveteen or velvet, which I think is just really sharp. Um, this would make a beautiful little set for like a holiday outfit if you did it in like a brocade or something. Um, even matching, same tops and bottoms. Um, super cool. And I love that they didn't just throw an elastic waist pant on there. There's an actual pant with a waistband curved. I bet it sits like one or two inches below your natural waist. Um, and then you've got darting front and back on the pencil pant and then the wide leg pant, they eliminated the front darts. So a bit of a smart design here. It wasn't just like we just widened the leg, which is incorrect. So glad to see that too. Okay. So gabardine, which is kind of like a suiting poplin crepe and linen, but again, yeah, for sure. I can see it in holiday fabrics too. Buttons, shoulder pads, and then finished garment measurements. We get all of these. Bust for the jacket and waist for the, or waist and hip for the pants. So lots of information to take in here about fit. But the jacket has about five inches of ease in the bust, um, six inches of ease in the waist, so pretty close fitting, again, just like the last one. Um, a little less roomy in the top, but just by a little bit. And then your hip is, what is that? <laughs> For three and a half inches of ease? Yeah. So pretty close fitting in the hip too. Which I think that's what makes it kind of like so chic, you know? Is that it's all kind of close fitting. Now the the hip line on the jacket is going to be much wider. Like the finish on the jacket is going to be much wider than the pant, obviously. Okay. All right. Now we have the Kamala Harris look-alike, <laughs> right? From far away, doesn't that look just like her? Um, stylish and comfortable long sleeve knit top includes cross front detail with optional V neckline or scooped neckline. V or scooped, okay. View A and B have three quarter sleeves. All right, so this is a fun take on kind of like a little, I don't know, it's almost like a cummerbund situation. Very flattering on nearly every single body type, but especially hourglasses, um, especially uh, pairs, anybody with like a naturally cinched in waist, this is going to bring it in even more. But those of you that have a fuller tummy, it's going to camouflage it a little bit. And I do like the option that you can just swap out V necks for scoop neck too. Three different sleeve lengths, I'm assuming. This would also look really cool underneath that um, jacket I just showed. Yeah, really close fitting through the back. I'm actually kind of surprised to see it so pulled in like that. Even the sleeve looks a lot tighter. 
So you see how there's all this like blousing in the front, but in the back, it is like very close fitting. There's also a center back seam, which is super interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, that's that. So you have your B, your scoop, and then two sleeve links, actually. So C and A, no, C and B are the exact same, just different arms. Okay, so for this, it's going to be 35% stretch knits, jersey interlock, cotton knits, rayon knits. And then small to 2X is the size range. And then there's actually positive ease in the bust by roughly two and a half inches. Same for the waist, but four inches. So it's supposed to be a loose fitting top. I don't know. That one picture is throwing me off so much because this makes it look like there's negative ease. Right? There's not four inches of ease in that. So I don't know if they pulled it tighter. I don't know what they did. There could be like a clip in, in the front we would never see. Yeah, that's the only thing that's throwing me off. I kind of expected it to have the same similar ease. You know, not loose fitting, but sort of. So far, all of these patterns have been very Butterick-esque. If you're feeling like this is a little bit basic B, <laughs> that's just Butterick's brand. You know, this is your, like, working woman. This is your everyday woman. This is not somebody who's into trends, not somebody who's like doing anything super flashy. She is just like your everyday woman. So Palmer Plush came out with jeans and what's super interesting, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, this might be the first Palmer Plush women's pattern, like exclusively women's, right? Those of you that have been sewing for a minute, have we been doing Palmer Plush in women's? I don't think so. So this is great. So for those of you that are unfamiliar, Palmer Plush has their own uh, fitting method where they use the pattern tissue. And then on the tissue are the lines, like if you need a full seat adjustment, for example, on the tissue are the lines that you would cut through in order to create that um, adjustment or alteration. So uh, really kind of fun if you want to dive in to fitting in a very like custom couture, not just like thrown together kind of way. Um, Palmer Plush has a really fun system for doing that. And the pattern instructions explain everything. Um, but so the fact they have that in women's now, I think you guys should really um, explore this pattern and see if you can learn anything about your bodies that maybe um, you haven't been able to with just no instruction on fitting really. This easygoing style of jeans includes side front pockets, waistband with button and buttonhole closure, back pockets, belt carriers, and front fly zipper closure, a traditional jean. View A is, skin View a is skinny, uh, moderately dropped waist. View B are high-waisted straight leg jeans. Okay, high-waisted straight leg, okay. I mean, I'm not certain about calling this high-waisted. I'm also not certain about what's happening here. Um, seems like the crotch curve is not deep enough for her. It would be an easy fix. But again, you know, I bet Palmer Plush has a tough time with this modeling situation because this isn't their model. This is a hired model, so they just had to make the jeans, and they didn't get to do the fitting thing on her. So that's got to be frustrating since their whole model is based on fit. But nonetheless, other than that one little thing, which is very easy to fix, the front looks really good. Here's our illustration of, like, moderately low-rise, but is it just me, or did those sit on her waist the same place as the other ladies, the actual person? Um, now we have the back, which th these pockets are not in the right place. You can tell, right? They're too big for her, first of all. And secondly, they're too far to the middle, I think. 
but we've got a few drag lines here, a few drag lines here. This is all because the inner thigh, they're pointing to the problem, right? So the inner thigh is ill-fitting and the calf is ill-fitting. Um, but again, I'm sure if they were doing their own tissue fitting method on her, they would, would have been able to assess all of these problems. All of that to say, if you walked out the door in these jeans, the way that they fit her, you should be so proud. They still look really good and fit really well considering, and you probably have eliminated a lot of the fit issues that you find in dressing rooms. So definitely something to keep in mind there, but there are line drawings. And then back of the envelope, they're going with lightweight denim, stretch twill, stretch cotton, stretch cotton velvet. So it does need to have a little bit of give to it. Um, and yeah, your normal jeans notions, your bust waist hip, and then hip 45, 44. So yeah, only one inch of ease in this. So that stretch is really going to matter in terms of comfort and fit and all of that. All right. Here for some women's jeans, though. And then here is the straight size version. Let's take a look at these. I think I know they made the same view. So again, they're calling this view high-waisted. But honestly, like, that's her belly button. High-waisted to me is way up here. So I don't know about that. Um, let's see if we can get some better pictures that aren't so dark. Pockets look a lot better on her, for sure. And, yeah, I mean, fit is, <coughs> excuse me, fit is better, certainly through the calf. Yeah, that's all we're going to get on fit for her. The photo feels really dark on her. But yeah, they look obviously better on her. It's easier to fit a less curvy person. That's just facts. Okay, so that is the Mrs. Size. And then now we have these trousers. Mrs. Contour Band Pants by Palmer Plush. So same situation with, you know, getting the perfect fit. Um, using the tissue fitting method that they developed. This is 8 to 16 and 16 to 24. The perfect contour waist pant fit. Contour band pants feature. Fly front zipper. Back darts. Trouser hook and eye closure. View A are skinny fit pants and ankle length. View B are fuller length. <laughs> I don't know what fuller. Oh, are full length pants. I can't read. With side pockets. Okay. So yeah, your simple, basic trouser. This is a great block to start from. And then from here, you can make adjustments to add different types of pockets. Um, these are sitting a little bit higher on the waist than those jeans were, which I actually prefer. Okay, here's the back. Yep, now remember, she's putting all of her weight into this back leg. So the fact that we have this stuff here is, some of that is due to this. Um, they are a looser fitting trouser, kind of all around. And you got your back darts, the contour waist. Yeah, simple, straightforward, but when you're, when it comes to fitting um, and getting like a good basic trouser, you kind of want them to be as simple as possible. All right, back envelope, stretch cotton, gabardine, cotton blends, linen blends, lightweight denim, silk shantung. So maybe some stretch, but it doesn't have to have any at all. Your zipper, hook and eye, snap, stay tape, and double stick tape. So it sounds like they have a fun little method for maybe stitch in the ditch. Double stick tape is the only thing I can think of that they would use for that. Similar to how we did for our sew along dress. All right, and then the hip on this one, well, the waist and the hip, actually. The waist has two inches of ease, and the hip has four, three and a half, three and a half? Yeah, so right on for a trouser. Okay, next we have 
this little number. And when I first saw this, like on the banner at the like start of the video, I thought, haven't we seen this before? But I think another one of the brands possibly used this exact same fabric for another kind of like athleisure situation, which is, which is a choice because, you know, we so visually identify with these patterns. Um, but I can't remember which one it was. So I guess in a way it seemed familiar, but not familiar enough that I was like, oh yeah, it's that one pattern. Um, but this is a knit dress, top, skirt, and pants. Now these are what I like to call the wardrobe patterns because you get all of these garments in one. You can 1000% make like a capsule wardrobe out of it. Um, at, the, at most, at the very least, you get four different patterns all in one. So relaxed, easy, casual loungewear features, knit dress and top with asymmetrical neckline, long sleeve, shoulder strap, and tie belt. View A has side slit. Skirt C is mid calf length and has elastic waistband. Pants D are long, flowy, and wide leg and have elastic waistband. So loungy, comfortable, but more for like a woman, you know. So this fun little shoulder detail with the cutout. I don't I didn't really realize we were still doing that, but at the same time I don't really remember it going away either. So it's kind of one of those trends that's kind of maybe in between still. But you get this little tie situation. You can have the tunic length. You could obviously make it shorter. You can make it longer into this length or even, I mean, any length really. And then you have your skirt, which you can adjust the length. And you have the pants, which you can make into shorts or whatever you want. Oh, the Wait, is that sewn in? That's interesting. Okay, so the belt is actually attached. Interesting. So it looks like attached through the back and then at the side seams they become ties, but through the back is actual like elastic. I like that. So the belt actually stays up. And then, yeah, these are our line drawings. They're not showing that on the back though. So now I'm confused. That definitely looks like it's sewn in, right? Maybe not. Maybe the belt has elastic in it. Something's up with that belt. <laughs> Maybe it's not attached like a casing, but did, there's also something else in there. Let's see if the um, notions explain it any further. Yeah, one and a half yards of one inch elastic for C and D. Yeah, that's just the, I don't know what's up with that belt. Seems like either something's being left off, either the line drawing or the notions list. But again, moderate stretch knits, 35% cross grain, jersey interlock, cotton and rayon knits. And body measurements are going to be pretty close to the same as our finished garment measurements because this is a knit garment but the pants and skirt might be a little bit wider. But super cute little fitted dress, I think. I'm not so sure that I would wear the tunic, but I do love it as a dress, especially in like a neutral color, you know? Okay, and if you can hear landscaping going on in the back, you're correct, because it never fails. Anytime I'm ready to do a video, they decide that they are gonna cut the grass outside so I apologize about that, but this is a little vintage dress and jacket, semi fitted dress, three inches below mid knee. That is very specific <laughs> or evening length with purchase lace trim, <coughs> excuse me, ribbon shoulder straps and ribbon belt has shaped front upper edge. I think that means sweetheart neckline, back elasticized upper edge, front pin tucks and el elasticized waistband or waistline. View B um, has hemline pin tucks. Oh, hemline pin tucks. Loose fitting unlined jacket with purchase lace trim and ribbon belt has cardigan neckline and full length tapered sleeves gathered at a cap. 
Okay, so A is the dress and B is the, what are they calling it? Unlined jacket. 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24 on the sizing. This is from the 80s. So yeah, you have this kind of sweetheart neckline. Here are your vertical pin tucks here. This looks like, oh, is that, okay, so, oh, okay, I get it. So this is your little dress, and you have the purchased ribbon for the tie, and then you can make the little jacket either long or short and wear it over the dress. Is this a nightgown? It's always so confusing. And then you can also make it long. So there, yeah, I don't know. Is that a nightgown? There's elastic in the back here too. It doesn't say that it is, but that pink satiny imagery makes me feel like maybe it is. Broadcloth, gauze, wall, chalet, batiste, handkerchief, linen, crepe de chine, pongee. Wow, I haven't seen pongee on a list in a minute. That's funny. Okay, uh, ribbon, trim elastic all of this no there were two different size ranges that's right okay body measurement versus garment six and a half inches of ease in the bust although I feel like that's well that might be the same for the jacket and the oh no AB AB so jacket C they're not giving us any finished measurements for okay and the waist on A and B is elastic anyways, so this is all that really matters. So yeah, six and a half inches in the bust, pretty roomy. Um, it doesn't say, yeah, it doesn't say that it's a nightgown, but I don't know, I'm just getting nightgown vibes from this art here. Okay, now we have the family jacket. Oh, shackets for everyone. You get a shacket, dad. You get a shacket, daughter, son. Here's your shacket. And mommy's got a shacket too. Button front family size shacket has pointed collar, long sleeves with single button cuffs, flat patch pockets, back yoke with pleat. Jacket has curved or straight hem and length variations. Look how happy we are. Just your quintessential American family. Okay, so shacket wise, yeah, pretty much spot on. That's a shacket. <laughs> Nothing too special or remarkable about it. Excellent job on the print matching. Here's a little Sherpa one, adorable. Here's mom's. So mom's bottom button is a little bit funky. They might've just sewed the button on a little too high. There's the kiddos. There's the back. So it does have a yoke and a back pleat. And then the uh, sleeves also pleat into a cuff as well. Yep. Yep, it's a shacket, guys. It's a shacket. All right, wool blends, flannel, corduroy, denim, Sherpa, twill. Yep. Notions. Yep. And then here's your sizing. Finish garment measurements for a woman or teen slash adult. So a woman or a man. About 10 inches of ease in the bust and 15 in the waist and then probably a little bit less in the hip. Um, maybe eight-ish or so. That's just me guessing. <laughs> but, um, okay, yeah, so family shackets. All right, cool. Then we have a little teen, what are they calling it? Oh, a knit top for a girl, which we don't, I don't cover the kids clothes because we talk a lot about fit here and I don't know, that just feels weird. Um, plus designs for little girls are a little bit different than adults anyways. But we also have this little girl, <laughs> she's precious, and then a little baby one. Okay, so for in terms of adults, there's your Butterick Fall. Nothing oh, very overwhelming here, but that's just how Butterick is. You're going to be able to get some good basics, 
maybe a little bit of a twist, but nothing too crazy. And really focus on fit or if you have like a really fabulous fabric, Butterick is also great for that. So I'd love to know what you guys think. Leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know. Otherwise, that's going to do it for me today, y'all. I will see you all very soon. Bye.